here we have the timing cover and in my case because i'm running a totally electronic ignition off the distributor this item here which is to take a sensor that will measure teeth going round that's going to get in my way so i'm just going to machine that off completely as i have some brackets going on here to support the alternator or air conditioning pump and this one gets in the way so i'll just machine that off if you don't have any milling machine capabilities then just grind it off with a grinder or cut it off with a hacksaw or you may not need to do that right all set up on milling machine clamped down and ready to mill the part off and now taking the final cut Right, just have to clean up the rough edges and that bit's done. Right, jumping around a bit here now. Um, Going to fit the oil seal to the timing cover. This is one of the ones that came with a Felpro kit. So we'll uh, pop that down into there. But we'll give it a little bit of assistance with some silicon first. So just smear some round. This will help it seal and uh, help it slide in as well. And clean the excess off afterwards. I'm also going to put some around the actual oil seal itself. For this I'm using a, a Loctite Black Silicone SI 5980 but any general purpose silicone should do the job. That's a good covering all the way around. I'm going to offer him up. And initially I'm going to drive him down using the milling machine. just get it started a little bit of help That's enough, so we can now go in there, start to knock it in with a block of wood. And a large hammer. That's the way to do it. And just go around and Well, that's nicely gone down. 
and we can clean away any surplus silicon. While we're here, because I'm not using a mechanical fuel pump, we'll also seal up where the pump would normally fit in. I've got myself some stainless steel bolts to do this. Just dab it round. And then on the gasket, making sure we get it the right way up. Obviously, if you put it that way, it won't line up. And on the steel plate, where it's been stamped out, we've got a smooth edge and a sharp edge. So I'm going to put it with the smooth edge facing out. So again, around the outside. Offer that up. And then with a washer, just a smidgen of copper grease over the threads. I'll help it in. Tighten it up. No need to go overboard on this. Remember, it's only an aluminium that you're screwing the bolt into. And then we can go around and just trim off this bit of the gasket. So that's the cover ready to fit. We may want to just go around put a file and remove some of the sharp edges. So that completes preparing the front cover. Or timing cover. Right, when I do the final build, I'm going to be fitting an electric water pump, which is the standard kit that arrived, which is this one here. Comes with a pump, inlet outlets, blanking plate, glass gaskets, and some very horrible, grotty looking bolts. So, what I've done already is I've replaced these with stainless steel ones, and I'm also going to be replacing the cover plate ones with stainless steel. I'll just swing round and you can see I've already done this on the engine, got those ready. So there we have some nice stainless steel ones ready to go in. I'll give you the sizes of those in a moment. Uh, my memory is right. I think they're 5 sixteenths UNC, but please don't quote me on that size, but I'll give you the correct lengths. I'm only going to do a temporary build on this. Because when the pump goes in, so the pump will load in on those two there. Now these brackets, or these inlets and outlets, we're going to call them, can go the other way up. So if I took this one, I can explain this. Right, they go in as they are, but the pump, because they're just on two each side, I can take the pump off, rotate it, so the pump actually goes in that way up. So I've then got my pipe connections on top. Now, when I come to install this in the back of GT40, I'm not sure which way I want it, whether I want the outlet there, obviously I can go in that side, or I want it there going underneath. I'm not sure what clearances I've got here. Bearing in mind, I've also got to fit the alternator and I've got to fit the air conditioning pump. So I'm not gonna do a full tight gasket seal type thing. I'm just going to slip him over first uh, to keep all this area clean and dry. 
So that's that part. Now the next problem we have is that the block I've got is a very, very early one. Because it's an early one, it doesn't have any dowels. I'll just take that bolt out. On the later blocks, I think it's about 1980 onwards, into there is a dowel, and we're on the other side, which engage with dowels on the cover plate. Because I've gone and bought a late cover plate. Um, or timing cover, whichever you want to call it. Whether I should have bought an early one, I'm not sure. So what this does mean is when we slide it over, we can wobble it around. It's also important that the centre point there, or the that area there, is dead central around there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn up an aluminium block, bore it out that size, take the outside diameter down to that size, and then slide that on, slide this on, and that will then give me a reference. The other way of doing it is using the actual... Um, The other way to do it is using the actual harmonic balancer, which may be another way of doing it. So let's just have a look at that moment. So this bit is all new to me. Having never built one of these before. So I will just take the bolt out. I may go to do it with the uh, harmonic answer as the guide for the cover. Let's see what happens. So I need to take all the bolts out. Uh, I'll just give you the sizes as we go. So the bottom four are all the same length. I've already taken that one out. And they're coming in at either 50 millimetres or two inches. And then the top two Pretty sure they're 516 UNC. And then the top two of which are 20 mil or approximately three quarters of an inch. We'll also need another three of those because when the cover is on and we put the red cover on ready for the pump, you'll need another three to go in there. And the final four which hold the pump on. They come in at, under the head to the end, to 80, 83. Now I've cut these to the right length so that we get maximum thread in there without it binding as it's supporting the pump. So it's 83 metric or 3 and a quarter imperial. Now the balancer or harmonic, we're going to call it, has got a stepped diameter inside. So it goes in and then gets tighter. And what this means is that when we line it up, we can rotate it so that it just goes over to the keyway there and then goes very, very tight. Now whether I can use that to align this part, I'm really not sure, so we'll give it a go. So we'll load him in. I'm not going to use a gasket at the moment, just sit him on there. And we just put a couple of bolts in. This is purely a, a socket and see exercise. Right, so that's pushed back flush. And we'll put a, just a smear of oil around there. I've in fact put some of the red lube around there. So I really don't know if this is going to work. So that's the keyway just lined up. And unfortunately, I'm going to have to push that on as I'm not into the actual oil seal itself. And I, it might go on, I, I, I could be wrong. Let's just pull this back 
Right, I'm now over the balancer. Does it come off the well, it, it comes off unfortunately. So that's not gonna work, is it? So the only way to do it then uh, is to actually push the balancer on properly. At the same time, when that's on, then tighten these up. Uh, I'd much prefer to make up an adapter actually to slide on. So I think that's what I'll do.